Welcome to Grand Bazaar. Yes, please. You can have a look. Hi there everyone, it's John and Becky here from Parks Travel Guide and today we are down at the Grand Bazaar. That's right, this is the second largest undercover bazaar in Turkey and we're going to go in, try and meet some old friends and see what it looks like because we hear a lot of people are quite intimidated by the bazaar so we're going to give you reasons why you shouldn't be intimidated and how friendly the locals actually are. And why you need to check it out. So the Grand Bazaar has about five or six entrances. There's some way in all over. And each street is different, but each street also has a colour, so you know where you're going. So we know this man here. I just this went my... to the message. Did you see my message? No. It is my message. No. And you come in here, why are you tell me that? <laughs> Hi. Are you okay? How about you? Good, thank you. Oh. How is it? Okay. Auntie, good to see you. Hi, <laughs> oh, both aunties. Hi. How are you? So what you'll notice is you'll come round and everywhere you go people will want to talk to you and want to, you to have a drink. So you could actually come here thinking, oh I'll just be here for an hour and you drink and tea at every place you go by. And it's just Turkish hospitality, true hospitality. So what we're filming now is we're doing this a day earlier because the people that we know haven't seen us for four years so the reactions that you're seeing are genuine we haven't actually seen us. so we have some apple tea yes please the first apple tea of many Ali's shop is one of the few in the bazaar that's open year round and sells a variety of clothes for men women and children so there really is something for everybody right so this is the barbers that I always come to when I'm here I don't go anywhere else I'm going in for a, a Turkish haircut and a Turkish shave so let's see how we get on with it Men, if there's one thing you do when you come to Turkey, you have to have a traditional Turkish shave. It may look a little bit scary at times, but it's not really, and it is a quite a quick process because they know what they're doing and they're skilled in their trade. The Barbers is a true pamper experience for men, and you should put this at the top of your list of must-dos when you come to Turkey. Looking good. It's took years off me, hasn't it? Don't say anything. So that was a great experience. If you come to Turkey, you have to have a cutthroat shave. It's one of the things that you do. So for a haircut and a shave, it came to 150 lira, which is about £7.50. So a really good value for money. And I'll be going back at the end of the week to freshen up, ready to go back. So Marmaris Bazaar went undercover. We've heard in about 97, 98. It was all exposed beforehand, which was difficult for the, the weather. When it rained, it poured. So. We're going to go down now and see what we can find. So let's have a walk through the bazaar. Take this way, man. Let's shop in Marmaris. Welcome to Marmaris. Welcome to the gallery. Let's shop every Marmaris. That's yes, sir. That's quite plain. Thank you. Oh, it is quite posh, isn't it? Oh, it's so it's very common to be yelled at to come in my shop, come in my shop, all the time, all through the bazaar. If you want to go in, you can go in. If you don't want to, you just say no, thank you. So, that's, we've only just started and uh, we're getting quite a bit of attention around here, but it's a lot of people also that know me, uh, which is nice to see. But I think there'll be a lot of people that want to want to speak to us, want to get to know us and things like that. Hi, Hello, hi, okay. Oh, bag, bag shop. <laughs> Actually, this man is a, a good bag man. Apparently, I've been told that I'm not allowed anymore. <laughs> How long have you been here? Over 20 years. Oh, yeah. 20 years, yes. wow. They came from our grandfathers in 1981. So we're still walking and everywhere we go, it's, you know, people want to know all about you. And it's not, it's all friendly. They just want to talk to you. It's where you're from. Hi. Welcome to our show, Bazaar. Hello, everybody. Best shop in the Marmaris. Of course, they want to try and sell you something, but if you don't want to buy anything, you don't want to buy anything. Just polite, no, thank you. But, you know, have a nice day. That's all it takes. So, honestly, if you love shopping, you will literally be spoilt for choice, whether it's Turkish delight, tea, bags, clothes, suitcases for all the extra shopping that you're doing. You can get it all here at the bazaar. Don't forget food as well. 
So it's coming up to lunchtime now and there is no better way to have lunch in the bazaar than having a traditional Turkish kebab. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll be going to a place that I've been going to since, well, time began really. They've lasted the test of time and uh, I'm so looking forward to this. It's, if you haven't had a Turkish kebab before, it's nothing like the Donna kebabs that you get at home. It is it's something else. Divine. Plenty of chilies on there. Loads of chilies on there. Oh yeah, let's get started with it. So let's get this loaded up. Loads of chili. There's also got, a chili dip, isn't there? Yeah, we're going to say we've got a bit of esme here as well. Put some of that in. Just as good as I remember. Mm. So now it's time to catch up with some old friends that we haven't seen for a while. So we'll go down and say hello, and uh, I don't think they're expecting us either. So it'll be uh, a it's nice surprise. reaction, out. Nice surprise. <laughs> Right, let's go try and find him. We're down the main street now. Can we see him? Yes, Not yet. Yeah, right, buddy. Hi. Want to see? Excuse me. <laughs> well, we don't want a fur coat. Fur coat in this weather. Yes, what we're we doing? So here we are. And I can see him out there. Hey. Hey. <laughs> How are you? Are you okay? Yes, sir. Good to see you. Good right, to man. see you. I'll, uh, I'm fine, you. Yeah. And you? Not so bad. I can see you busy. Okay? I'm fine. How about well, you? Good to see you. I'm yeah. good, thank you. <laughs> good. <laughs> so Errol's just a little bit tied up at the minute. So we'll pop back and we'll see Errol later on. His brother has this shop. But his brother isn't here. So oh, we'll no. see them later on. But if you're going to get Turkish delight from anywhere in the bazaar, that is the place that you need to get it from. And I do recognise another face. Yeah. Uncle Hussein. Are you okay? <laughs> Lovely to see you. Are you okay? Hussein's shop called the Oz Turk is another high quality clothes shop that you shouldn't pass by. This shop has a lot of special memories for me as this is where it all began with the friendships in Turkey. Here's another face. <laughs> so if you're gonna get Turkish delight from anywhere, <laughs> you need to get it from here. This is the best Turkish delight yes. you will ever, ever try. What flavor is that one? Mandali, Mandali. not orange, small one. Mm. Oh, thank you very much, sir. Teşekkür mm. ederim. Mm. Oh, mm. wow. That that's, is, that's good one. Mm. It's, uh, yeah, mm. like, yeah, Mandarin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. That is so yummy. So, for anyone that eats Cadbury's, I think it's Cadbury's, Turkish delight at home? No, this is nothing like <laughs> at all. This is proper Turkish delight. The best Turkish delight that you will ever, ever get. So what's that one you've had? You've just put another one in your mouth, I caught you. <laughs> Lemon. Lemon. Mm, that's my favourite. So the most popular Turkish delight that you can get is uh, is rose, which is this one here. And it seems to be the, the main flavour. However now, these days, you can get something for, for everything. Yes. So even like melon, black mulberry. What's this? You know, pomegranate, cherry, mint, everything. We're uh, just having a walk now to check out another entrance of the bazaar. Uh, we're gonna have another look at another street in the bazaar and see what we can find there. But as you can gather from what you've seen, it is very much of a muchness. The only thing that will differ is the quality and the prices. But do one thing, if you do come in and you don't say, don't say to them that, you know, I'll come back tomorrow, I'll come back later, if you have no intention of coming back later. Because they will remember you. Becky just taking a picture for the Instagram channel. Hi. If you're not on there yet, check it out. We're also on Facebook as well for behind the scenes updates. Well, it seems so far so good down here. It's, uh, this, this seems quite a peaceful street. Nobody's even said anything to us, which is uh, different. <laughs> 
<laughs> Hello, no, thank you very much. No, thank you. I spoke too soon, didn't I? <laughs> but other than that, no, it's uh, quite quite free and easy. Just for reference, this is the, the light blue. So those colours that we're talking about, if somebody says, oh, my shop's on the light blue street, you know where you're coming. In fact, this is a really good reference point because we've got three colours going all in one here. So we've got light blue, which is just where we are here. Then you can just see the green. And then just in the distance there, there's like a, a light pinky purpley colour. You'll branch off in different directions. Every direction's an adventure. It's quite unusual as well for the bazaar at this time to be so quiet. Mm. It's, it's got a kind of an eerie feel to it. Yeah, it's a, it has a bit. Especially for June, because we're filming this um, at the, towards the end of June. So we're down one, another one of the main streets now. And this is turning into quite a task. So we thought we'd be pretty much straight through, film a couple of, uh, film a couple of quick shots. And we've, we've basically just, been stopped at nearly yeah. every other shop yeah, to say hello, fast, but we don't but mind because we like mind. talking to people. <laughs> so uh, I think they're all going to be tuning in. So what we've filmed so far, hello, nice to see you. We've got any diehard Marmaris lovers on the channel watching this. If you remember this location here, it used to be the old Liman, which was iconic at the time. But as you'll have seen on the last vlog, it's now outside in a prime spot on the harbour. On the subject of food, after shopping, we wandered down a street in the bazaar that we'd never been down before and stumbled across this local cafe run by a husband and wife. We were even lucky enough to be invited into the kitchen to watch the specials of the day being cooked and they looked and smell incredible. There really was something for everybody at this restaurant and the prices were very reasonable. We asked the chef what he recommended and he brought out three traditional Turkish dishes. The total price for all three dishes came to 235 lira. At the bottom of this street, we could smell something really interesting. And it was a place called Merk Kebabs, where they hand make chicken shish kebabs and a whole range of other things. We stood there for a while watching them put so much effort and attention into making all the food that they do, including making the Turkish bread from scratch. If you've never had Turkish bread before, you must try it. It puffs up like no other bread you've ever seen before. Prices were pretty reasonable, and although the menu was limited, kebabs are the speciality, so you kind of expect that. We ordered a chicken shish kebab and shared it between us, because by this point we were very full. The total bill came to 115 lira, including two cokes and a complimentary chai. That more or less wraps up our vlog on the bazaar and we hope you've really really enjoyed it mm -hmm. so if you have remember to click the thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel to support us on our journey hopefully it's give you a bit of an insight into what the bazaar is actually like what there is on offer what kind of shops and things you can buy there and hopefully it's kind of put your fear at bay about going in yourself so don't forget it is important to haggle the price if they can't do the price you want don't be offended it's because they genuinely can't do it but have fun with it be friendly be polite that's the only tip i can yeah. give you and definitely chat to people don't just walk past and ignore them so next time you come to marmaris please say hello to everyone look out for them when you're in the bazaar and uh, we'll see you on the next vlog see you there guys Bye. take care